Okay, this tutorial explains how to draw a cumulative frequency graph. Now, when you are asked to draw a cumulative frequency graph, what you the first thing you're going to see is that you are given a group frequency table. That means that the frequencies are grouped into, well, basically groups. So in this case, it's age. So group, people between 20 and 30, 30, 40, 40, 50, 50, 60, 60, 70, and so on. And also you see a graph that you have to complete where you've got um, some sort of continuous data across the bottom and going up the side, cumulative frequency. Not frequency, cumulative frequency, that's the difference. We're not drawing just a basic um, plot coordinate, we have to do something additional. And if you are lucky, you will get an extra column added to your group frequency table to prompt you to do something. If not, you need to remember to add a column on to your group frequency. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at this question. It says the age of 100 teachers were recorded. The table below shows this information. Complete the community frequency column in the table. Okay, so community frequency basically means we are accumulating the frequency. So we're basically completing a running total. So in the first row of this table, there are 12. So my community frequency is 12. Now, if we move on to the second one, then the community frequency is the 12 that we had in the previous column plus the new value for the second row, which is 30. So the running total is now 42. Then we move down to this column and we need to do the total from the previous plus the new um, frequency. So that is 70 and then 70 plus the new one, 92 and then 92 plus the eight should bring you back to what they are telling you the total number for your table is. Okay, so 100. Now, that's one mark for completing um, the, the extra column, community frequency column, on your group frequency table. Now, when we plot the community frequency, it doesn't matter how many times I talk to students about how to plot this, they still do the same thing. You mustn't plot the midpoint. It's not, um, it's not that type of graph we have to plot what we've been asked to plot. So the graph starts at 20, and at 20, there are no values, because that's where the graph starts. <clears throat> when it gets to 30 in the first um, row of the table, the cumulative frequency is 12. So when it gets to 30, we now need to find 12. Now, these are going to be twos, so I need to find 12, which is six little squares up. Okay, moving on to the next column. Between 30 and 40, so when it gets to 40, my cumulative frequency is 42. So when it gets to 40, I must plot it at 42. When I move on to the next column, 40 to 50, so when it's at 50, my cumulative frequency is 70. So 50 and 70. And then 50 to 60, so when it's at 60, it's 92, 60. And that's 90, so 92. And the last one, 60 to 70 is 100. So when it goes to a 70, it's at 100. Now we're not using a ruler for this. We have to put a smooth curve through these points to gain your two marks for the cumulative frequency graph. 